Hello class! I am so glad you can join me today. I hear you are learning what it takes to be a scientist. Scientists use many skills to study and learn about the world around us. Some of these skills include observing, inferring, predicting, classifying, and making models. That's quite a list of long words. Let's break it down and talk about each one of them. We'll start with observing. This means using one or more of your senses to gather information. You can make two types of observations. Quantitative observations deal with numbers. You can quantitatively observe lengths, heights, speeds, and temperatures. Qualitative observations involve descriptions that cannot be expressed with numbers, like color, taste, or texture. I'll give you some examples by making observations about a bulldog. I'll start with quantitative. There is one bulldog. It has four legs and weighs 25 pounds. Now qualitative. He's very gray and has sharp teeth. See? It's easy. Quantitative has to do with numbers or quantity. Qualitative has to do with describing attributes or quality. The next skill I want to talk about is inferring or making an inference. It's not guessing. But inferring is based on reasoning from what you already know. Take a look at this picture. You can't ask the boy how he's feeling. But based on the details and things you already know, you can probably tell he's happy and excited. Some of the things that help us infer this are his smile and the fact that he's opening a present. The next skill is predicting. That means making a forecast of what will happen in the future based on past experience or evidence. Let's take a look at this scene. Okay, make a prediction of what will happen next. Good job if you knew a plant would grow. The next skill I want to talk about is classifying. This is a process of grouping together items that are alike in some way. Let's take a look at this money. We could group it by material, paper, nickel, and copper. We could group it by shape, rectangle, and circle. We could also group it by value, tens, ones, Quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. There may be other ways of classifying it also. The last skill I want to talk about is making models. This is creating a representation of a complex object or process. It could be a map, a flowchart, a computer-generated image, or a 3D object. Along with these skills, there are many scientific attitudes one must have to gain knowledge by exploring the natural world. A good scientist must have curiosity. They need to be eager to learn about more topics. Scientists need to be honest. A good scientist reports their observations and results truthfully. <laughs> Open-mindedness and skepticism are two attitudes that are related. A scientist must be open to new ideas, but cannot believe everything without proof. The last attitude is creativity. You need to be able to invent ways to solve problems. Well, I hope this has helped you on your way to becoming a mad scientist like myself. <laughs>